Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So what I'm going to do today is I have a mail call and I have a shop card. Um, so we'll do the shop card first. And <laughs> I got the shop card in the mail and I was like, wait, why am I getting, I didn't, I don't remember asking anybody for a shop card. I didn't have any emails. Well, I didn't check my sent mail. So when I, when I, when I emailed this person, when I emailed Joe, um, he emailed me back and said, check your sent folder because you did send me an email to do a shop card swap. <laughs> uh, getting old. It's fun. <laughs> and like, like uh, Mark over at the Medicore Modeler um, is always saying, I crack myself up. <laughs> it's craziness. But um, so this is from Joe over at... Just, just below average model cars. Now, besides what he has named his channel, Joe is a very, very good modeler. Um, he built, I think one of my favorite builds that he's done was the wheelies that he did, or some people call it Willis. Um, that, that came out really nice. But... Um, to me, he did a 68 Mustang. I think it was a Ravel Mustang. And he did it in the Super Cobra Jet, the white one. That came out really nice. Um, I, if, if you guys don't know, I'm a Mustang guy. And I have actually got Mustang tattoos. Um, and I'm not a needle person. Hey, Daisy. So our dog decided to come out. And... Daisy came out to say hi. Say hi, Daisy. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> anyway, so she came out to say hi to me. I'm babysitting now. My wife is on a trip. And Grandma is usually her babysitter. But anyway, back to the shop card shout out. So I want to thank you, Joe. Joseph, this is a very cool shop card. <laughs> and even because of even the lapse of memory, um, Sorry, uh, I did get yours out. I did send one for you. Okay, hold on, Daisy. She, she wants to go outside, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, she's a house dog, Daisy. It's my son's dog. Um, she's three. Uh, Golden Lab. She's a, she's a baby. She's just a big baby. It's an awesome dog. Anyway, when she wants to go outside, for whatever reason, whether it's just to go outside and lay down, go outside and do her business, she'll scratch the door, and so we let her out. So I got to listen, because when she wants to come back in, she'll scratch the door again. Anyway, that's her way of knocking. There she is. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So it's supposed to be a nice day today. Um, right now it's cool. It's in the 60s. Um, nice and sunny. But I don't know if I'll be doing any painting today. I should, but I don't know yet. I don't have any really prepped, so. Anyway, back to my original, um, what are we doing? Oh, video. <laughs> oh, Jesus, just one of those days, which for me is every day. But anyway, so I got this, this box in the mail. Um, no idea who it came from or what was in it and the name looked somewhat familiar but the address did not look familiar whatsoever um, so after some research i figured out that this came from mike over at mike's mods and customs now if you guys know mike's got an awesome channel and all of the channels that I, that I talk about here, um, there'll be a link in the description below so that you guys can check them out if you haven't. Uh, like, subscribe, leave comments for them. They love them. Any, at any rate, Mike, uh, about a 
week and a half, a week ago, maybe, roughly, um, he did a giveaway. And he had people, you know, he, he, he posted pictures, and then people could pick what they would be interested in, in receiving if they won. Well, I wasn't one of the winners. But Mike was gracious, and he sent me this box. And my wife is like, well, what'd you get now? And I'm like, I have no idea. I didn't order anything from anybody. I didn't get anything from anybody. So when I opened it, there were four, well, I should say three Hot Wheels and one um, Matchbox car. You, you got me, Mike. I love, I love these. These are awesome. So the first one I'm going to show you is, this is a Datsun 510, 71. Uh, a friend of mine, when I was growing up, had a, he had a four-door Datsun 510, 70. And he, he built the engine up on that thing. It was a fast little car. This is cool. I love this. This is an awesome car. And then the next one is a hot, another Hot Wheels. The 47 Fleet Line. Now, this is the Moon Eyes car, one of the Moon Eyes cars. And I know a lot of people love Rat Finks. They love Barris and all those guys. I love Moon Eyes cars. These are super cool. Um, I appreciate this very much, Mike. This is a cool car. Uh, I do like Rat. I do appreciate and love Rat Fink and stuff like that, but. Moon Eyes, for some reason, growing up in Hawaii, Moon Eyes was a big deal. Um, there's actually a, a shop there that sells strictly Moon Eyes stuff. That's very cool. All right. As I said before, I'm a Mustang guy. And Mike sent me this Mustang. It's an 84 SVO. Very cool. Um, I personally have never owned a Fox, and I love the Fox cars. My wife absolutely hates them. She says they're the ugliest car around. Oh, she's wrong. But um, my son owned a 90 convertible. We played around with that for a little bit. It was fun. And then the last one that Mike sent me is a 93 Mustang LX SSP. If you guys aren't Mustang... Lovers, if you're not into Fox Bodies, this car right here is one of the most highly prized one-to-one um, -one cars, one-to-one -one Fox Body Mustangs, besides the Cobra, out there. These cars could rip. Those are very cool. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it a, a lot. <laughs> That was a big surprise. I had no idea it was coming. Um, everybody, you know, this community is awesome. You know, guys give. They give. So thank you very much to Joe and to Mike. Uh, like I said, check out their channels. Both awesome builders. Uh, Mike does a lot of Hot Wheel Customs too, which is cool. Um, so on a more somber note, I'm not a person that watches the news. I don't follow or watch the news regularly at all. Um, I get it on my feed on Facebook and Instagram, but that's about it. But anyway, I do know that Florida and up above Florida to the south um, or the northeast of them are going to be getting another storm coming through. Um, I know the people in North Carolina really got beat bad by that last storm. So I just want to keep everybody that's in the path, in my thoughts and prayers, um, either hunker down or get the heck out. <laughs> Although evacuating now is going to be really tough because I, I, I watched the Weather Channel earlier and they were saying, saying how the roads were just backed up all over the place. Um, but if you can get out, get out. If you can't, hunker down. I hope everybody stays safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Um, at this point in 
point in time. You know, you, that's really what you got to do. Take care of each other there. Stay safe. And um, as always, be kind. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.